Hi everyone, it's Karen here with my second textured bird journaling card. Enjoy! I've already posted another video with the first journaling card and here it is linked above. I have also have it linked in the description area. I took at the beginning two journaling cards and I used some book pages to create the background by collaging it them with Prima Finaver soft matte gel medium. Then I decided to create two different cards so I separated the videos because each one of the cards had different techniques. I inked the collage background with vintage photo ink from Tim Holtz and also with walnut stain. I also inked it with some spiced marmalade distress ink. I took the Art Foamies bird stamp from the N Studio bird set and I traced it around with a marker. This is a Stamper's Big Brush Pen from Faber-Castell. Then I took Prima Finna Bear's Rust Paste in all three colors that come in the set and using a small palette knife I started filling in the bird and creating texture inside the body. While the paste was still wet, I took the stamp again and pressed it into the paste to create the outline of the bird and create more texture. I let this paste fully dry and then I outlined the edges, the border and around the bird with the Semper's Big Brush pen and then sprayed it with water to create an inked kind of shadow and staining around the bird. Instead of doing it in turquoise like the other bird and giving that patina effect, I wanted to introduce some purple into this uh, background. So I used uh, Finna Bear's Art Alchemy Amethyst Magic Wax to add some uh, rub it on the bird and create some highlights. And then I use the Sparks, the Art Alchemy Sparks in the Iris Potion and added some purple sparkly paint around the edges. Then I took the brass texture paste from the patina texture set and added some highlights on the edges and on the bird.
I also wanted to make the edges a bit darker so I took the dark brown rust paste and added it around the edges. To add more golden hues to the background I took the color bloom number no. 2 spring dandelion and sprayed it all in the background to have it very golden shimmery in the areas around the bird. Then I let this dry and I took the wax again, the amethyst one, and I added it around the edges and more highlights on the bird. Finally, I took the marker again, the Stamper's Big Brush Pen, the brown one, and created some shadows around the bird by highlighting it and outlining it around and then spraying it with water to create the highlights. I continued playing with the brass paste and the markers until I was happy with the amount of shadow around the bird and the highlights on the texture. Thank you so much for watching. For more inspiration, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Bye!